For everything bull, we have a special topic today. How good is this France team at the moment? On my right, we got the main man, Mr. Yes. One Seven. Come on, every time, Max Seventeen. On my left, we have the big man, the flyest, the flyest, the <laughs> most, uh, <laughs> the greatest. Not nah, joking, but yeah, man. <laughs> about Barry, time being it, bro. You know, about time he, about time be bro. You know, you kind of threw me off, man. I meant to introduce you, bro. But anyway, myself, <laughs> broads, <laughs> Kenny, myself, broads, center forward, number ten on my back. I don't think anyone found that funny, but anyway, <laughs> like, <laughs> how good is this? <laughs> how good is this France team? Like, before we say anything, if you got me on um, Instagram, everybody knows who I rock with, isn't it? So, Mbappe. <laughs> so you get me. But as for you, lot, what do you think? We'll start with. Oh, you sound like you're ready. All right, we'll start oh, with uh, Mr. Barry. Oh, already, man, already, man. Yeah, already, man. But um, obviously, um, this France team is good, man. Um, um, young, young players. Um, a lot of energy. Um, a lot of flair. Um, they're looking unstoppable, man. I think they're gonna be the. They're gonna be controlling national league for like, probably the next four years, next four to eight years. But, oof, eight the years. next yeah, listen, because they got age on their side as well, wasn't it? You know what I'm saying? They got age on their side. Yeah, definitely. And Bappe is at what twenty, I think. Twenty. Yeah, just turned twenty December. And Bailey is at twenty one, twenty two. Yeah, his birthday, yeah. Bappe. Twenty of December, nineteen ninety eight. Anyways, no. <laughs> Fan boy, but um, you got um. What's he say on my back for? This <laughs> guy. Oh, <laughs> damn, Bailey. <laughs> this guy. And what's this say? Dortmund. So I've been repping. I've been repping before everybody. You get me? Before 2018, <laughs> mm. nobody called me a fanboy, but I've been at it when there was only a few of us at it. Jugging in the rain. like Usher, man. Like, <laughs> but yeah, man, obviously they got um, Dembele. Um, who else? One of the oldest players is like Pogba. Um, who yeah, else? He's like quite a senior figure. Yeah, now, Pogba's only like 26. Griezmann's like 26, 27. And he only come into the scene like about four, five years ago, wasn't it? He was in the World Cup 2014, no? Who? Pogba. Was he there? That's no, I think he was in the Youth Cup. The Youth no, World Cup. Or was it, was it Euros? 2016. He was in the Euros 2016. Yeah, 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 Euros. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was in the Euros. Um, the team's young, man. Um, Martial. Mm. They've got just too much. Too much there, man. Uh, who's that? I wonder if that PSG. There's one guy at PSG, um, I think he's like a wing back or something. You know, he's oh. always doing the dancing. Da, 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 da. Oh, um, Kim Pembe. Kim Pembe, is he in the French team, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, quite yeah, young yeah. as well. How old is he? Yeah, he's um, like, he's at he's like 23. That's what I'm saying. That's a young team. Um, yeah, the so oldest like team it. is what? The oldest player? Larice. It's Larice or Giroud. But Bondi. they're on form as well. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's like they ain't really full enough. So I feel like the youth on um, the youth is what's going to help them control this um, whole national. Passionate team, isn't it? You know? Yeah, I definitely feel like, you know, you've made some good points there, you know, about how talented the youth are at this moment. And if we look at how people like Kingsley Coleman <coughs> at Bayern, he doesn't even get into the team no more. Mm. And see, he's good. See, see that France team, they mm. are they haven't even hit their pinnacle yet. Yeah, they yeah. They have not even hit their pinnacle. <laughs> There's still a lot more to come <laughs> lot, for yeah. France, isn't it? They've got a young players, got young players, they've got experience, that they've got the good mould, they've got the perfect mould. Yeah. Mm. The perfect mould, yeah. And when you got that, it's just you're just you're just hard to beat. They they that team, yeah, they remind me of like the USA NBA team, like, oh, like, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. like there's so many ballers that like not even some superstars can't even get into that team. Like Marshall was he when they walk up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> let's let's, yeah. let's not forget <laughs> Let's not forget real gunman like Benzema. Yeah, Benzema, oh, like, no, but ben, Benzema, Benzema is like a political reason. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Reason, I saw um, Ruby, yeah, Ruby as well. Ruby as well. Got, got, oh, but you, you see the, so many players. You see this France team reminds me of um, Brazil 2002. Yeah, yeah. Um, the whole chemistry they got yeah. beside yeah. football. That's you know what, what I'm saying. Like, say, like, the their relationship is very strong. Look at the way um, I see um, Pogba on the international break. He goes straight to Griezmann's house. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like... Besides um, football, I feel like they've got... I think if you've got good chemistry, 
I feel like um, the Bulls definitely gonna do um, I think even better outside of football as well. They yeah, 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 like yeah, 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 outside yeah. of football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dancing I thought we see them just like mm, together. So it's, even it's, outside, even outside of international <coughs> duty, we see them. Yeah, you see them. Yeah, like yeah. Like in LA together, so it's just like. And they proper rip each other, yeah. like you get what I'm saying, like it's, it's, yeah, nice. That's, that's proper. No, it's, no, it's nice because I'll, I'll touch on a point that you've both mentioned, right? So as we know, this is a very talented squad. Mm-hmm. You know, let's not even say eleven. Like it's a, you could probably name thirty players from the French national team or yeah. who mm-hmm. are French nationals that mm-hmm. could probably get into most teams around the world. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So that being said, if we look at Argentina, where They've got, okay, arguably one of the greatest players, if not the greatest player ever, yeah. alongside some very, very good players. Mm. Let's not lie. We've got yeah. Lino Messi, of course, Sergio Aguero, mm. um, Dybala. Um, Is it Marciano or something? Who? Oh, Mastro, yeah, Mastro. Mastro. good, yeah. Um, yeah. Who? Di Maria. Di Maria, yeah, 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 yeah. so I'm going to say. Loads of players, right? Obviously, you're more of like the Argentina expert, isn't it? So, <laughs> I mean, like... Zab- Z- Zabaletti, yeah. yeah, yeah so, so, you know, like, it's weird how... Well, let's look at it like this. Argentina seem to not gel properly. And they probably, if you look at pound for f- pound, for pound, the better um, strikers, yeah, and the better individuals, they probably... It's probably with Argentina. Do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, dare I say, even though France is... France is yeah. just out of this world, didn't it? Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? I was lost for words there. But like, even Argentina probably still have a few better players, but they don't have that chemistry. Yeah. So I'm glad that you spoke about their chemistry because it's lovely to see, you know, the whole nation of France really coming together, mm. you know, and, you know, dancing to the same tune and, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? And everyone's celebrating and they're happy and we're looking at over here thinking, wow, like... It's a vibe. You know what I mean? It's a vibe, it's a vibe like... You know, obviously, England try to kick it off with his car. Yeah, you know, it's his car. But England, England, England. For me, f- that's not even like the like the culture in the England dressing room anymore. Anyway, like that is definitely not the culture in the England dressing room. That so I think, I think, I think England's chemistry has gone better. But coming back to the France thing, I think France has got um, too much flair, man. I yeah. think if you've got too much flair, um, I think it's it's just dangerous, and their pace. I think that's probably the fastest national team right now. They've got too much pace going forward, yeah, yeah. too much that. starting eleven, strongest eleven, and on the on the um, on the subs as well. Like they've got too much, so I feel like right now it will be hard to figure them out, man. Yeah, I feel like they're like the template. And you see, Giroud, Giroud is people say that he's 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 not great, yeah, but what he does for that team, he, he does wonders. For, he may not have had a shot on target that. <laughs> that tournament uh, as well. Me, I'm a but fan of Giroud. I'm a fan I'm, of Giroud. I'm, I'm, I'm becoming a fan of Giroud too, but he gives license to let Mbappé do what he wants mm. and to get let Griezmann do what he wants mm. and to let Pogba do what he wants. Fam, like, when you have them three doing what they want, Mm-mm. bro, like, there's problems, problems. So the way I see it, problems. no, definitely, I agree with both of you and the way I see it is that like, that's why I bring up Argentina because I'm like, look at them pound for pound yeah. individually. They're very good. Mm-hmm. But the chemistry, yeah, the, chem- the, the glue's not there. Mm-hmm. 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 Now with France, we know that we've got fl- well, flurry players, yeah? Um, Mbappe, Dembele, um, you know, Griezmann, um, all sorts of people. Like I, I could name people forever, but there's no time, right? So we've got those people, but the guys that allow them to do their job are the people like Olivier Giroud. Ongolo Kante. Oh, I was yeah. going to say Ongolo Kante. Yeah. 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 You know yeah. when you're saying Blaise, that, Blaise, yeah. Blaise Matuidi. Underrated. Yeah, Blaise mm. Matuidi. Do you know what I mean? Um, Varane. Mm. And I literally, I've gone from front to back. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Core. You've gone for the core. The mm. core, exactly. Mm. So sometimes you're going to see France play with like a 4-3-3. You're going to have Pogba allowed to do his thing because you've got Matuidi and Ongolo Kante putting in a yeah. shift, mm. making sure that they protect that back line. And obviously, we did see in the Belgium game in the World Cup that Pogba did start to defend a little bit more when he was needed. That's but, the thing. That's yeah. the thing. The difference between the France team and the Argentina well. team as well. Mm. The France team, when they want to defend, they'll they'll defend like they will defend. Yeah. They'll defend. Argentina can't. They can't defend. I swear, so, Belgium yeah. as well. They're too top heavy. Mm. Belgium. Argentina too top heavy. Belgium was like I swear they was like ranked number one at one point. Yeah. yeah they, were, they, they was they undefeated were, yeah. until they bought France. Yeah. yeah, but France, but saying, like, I France, feel like they were from up one nil, bro. Like yeah. I remember Belgium were don't they were they were giving it to France, but 
they couldn't break that. That, that pace, down. that pace is too much. But you see, the good thing I like with France here, yeah? when you France, they've got a style. It's established. You know how France kind of play. They got like this specific style. I think. But that being said, they're very versatile as well. Yeah, 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 yeah they're versatile. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like you can tell when some, like they've got. You know, like they're French. Like you know, like when they go out of uh, with the got French that kind team. of Parisian flair, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, you know yes. like if you've seen Paris, like there's a lot of like, like it's like a concrete jungle, isn't it? You've mm. got a lot of people that are, you know, playing out in the street and whatnot. Mm. You can see that kind of flair. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like when you've got the likes of Mbappe coming on and all of these young boys still coming through. You know what I mean? Mm. And like even if you look at Riyad Mahrez, very flary player, mm. but obviously he plays for Algeria, but he grew up in France. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So it's like, um, yeah, I feel like it's a very, very um, different style that we're seeing right now and we like it so we, we, I, I can I think we can agree yeah, yeah, that agree. that um, the flair as well as the discipline that you're seeing from the team mm. is really taking them forward so you know just to wrap it up World domination man <laughs> the, the, only, the only team that will beat them is them the only players that will beat them is themselves Mm. They can only beat themselves. That's it. That's the only way they're losing. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I agree. Yourself. Yeah, I feel like um, to keep going, man, because they ain't even at their best as a team yet, and they're just making teams look very small. They could really clean out big teams as well, missed a lot of chances, but still they're running the league in it. So like they at they're at the top. So for me, France and France. Yeah. Okay, and myself, I agree. You seen what names on my shirt, so <laughs> so you get me. So yeah, guys, look, thank you. I think that was a very good um, discussion we had there, mm -hmm. and um, thank you for your views. What do you think of this France team? Comment below. Mm.